Welcome back, Awaken Intuitives. <laughs> Welcome to any new Awaken Intuitives. Natalie here and Silver here. This is Silver. This is our baby. So he has a twin sister, but he's more gray. And um, some somebody just dropped them off and nobody claimed them. So we're like, well, fine, you know? So, oh, he's your baby. He recently got hurt. And I took him to the vet yesterday, but he's he's fine. But he's a good boy, and all he wants is loves. And he's got a little bit of brown as well as his sister. But this is silver. All right, food. Okay, thank you. You can go put him outside now. Thanks, honey. Anyway, well, we are here to do a couple things. <laughs> as you can see, there's something here, some decks. And I found these and I'm like, okay, I had to do it. And actually, I only had this one picked out. This one is um, the Star Kissed deck and this one's the Lightworker deck. And I had this one picked out and I went back to go get it. And I realized if you got them both, you could get one like 70% off pretty much. So what a great deal. Anyway, so it comes... These two came and it came with this cute little card holder. It's not selenite or anything like that, but it's super cute it as the moon phases on it. And then it came with this. It says tarot skills and it tells about the light workers tarot deck, which is this one. And it says is for readers raising their consciousness, empaths, energy healers, clairvoyants, mediums, and psychics. It uses purposeful imagery to ignite the magic in your readings. I'm going to turn this down a tiny bit. That's loud. Okay. Um, powerful card designs invoke a vivid sensory visual response to help your clients rapidly connect with the cards and feed your intuition. Made in the USA. Woo woo. <laughs> then treated by a use Yusui Shiki Ryoho Reiki Master to clear energies picked up in the creation process. Its neutral vibration is ready to be filled by your unique energy and serve you with love and light for many years to come. And it goes on to don't forget to access your free premium membership where you can learn tarot, become a certified tarot master get a reader score, advertise your business and more. And lastly, if you love the deck, please consider helping my small business by writing a product review on Amazon. Just visit the Tarot Skills product page or the website, scroll down to the review section and click write a customer review. If you are unhappy or have any concerns with your purchase, please contact me at uh, website so I can make it right. But isn't that pretty dang cool? Okay, so there's that. And um, I'm gonna read Oh my goodness, I had no idea. On the back of each of the decks says retail value is $140.95 US dollar. Why? Why? Why do they do this? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Why? I did not get it for that, I promise. Really interesting. Anyway, so I'm going to read the back of this and I'm going to show you the cards and we're going to do a little general message reading, okay? And all for entertainment purposes only. Use your discernment. Take what resonates. Leave whatever may not resonate. Enjoy. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want me to cover a topic, just let me know in the comments below. If you want a free reading, get a hold of me um, at awakenintuitives10 at yahoo.com you can get a hold of me through tiktok messenger instagram messenger but i love the idea of email so if you want a free reading just get a hold of me <laughs> all right let's read this so it is um oh it doesn't say your name right here huh maybe on the back so tarot for empaths reiki and energy healers the light workers deck tarotskills.com look at the owl i really fell in love with the owl so the ultimate beginner deck T read tarot cards accurately in under one hour without a guidebook using this traditional 78 card deck powerful imagery built into the card design upright and reversed keyword meanings yes and no references and it has all the elements earth wind fire water symbols and the bonus includes online training master level certification ebook membership and more at tarotskills.com and added 95 value oh wow 
that is so interesting. And it's got this couple symbols. And it's so interesting. It looks, this one looks like the Unilum symbol almost, which Crystal Medicine just got a tattoo of. Ooh, really cool. And then it has this symbol for the O for tarot. And then this one says everything the same except it says astrology symbols and zodiac signs, season and timing indicators. Oh, I just love it. And this is the Tarot for Empress, Reiki, and Energy Healers, the Star Kissed deck, okay? Just the same images. So um, let's open the Lightworker deck first. All right. I do have some music playing in the background. What was it? Shoot. Uh, let me look. <gasps> I'll tell you. It is 5,000, 5, no, 55, 55 hertz. Um, vibration of the fifth dimension, spiritual journey, music playing in the background. I do not own the rights to. So let's open this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it does have a texture, like a canvas texture on the backs. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, I just love it. Okay, they are pretty slick. Um, so it starts with the Fool, of course, the Major Arcana, 0 to 21. And um, I love how they are modern. I really don't have much, not too much modern stuff. So it says the fool, okay? And then right here, it says fearless beginning, but if, and then it has the reversed meaning, right? And it says fearful beginnings and look at the colors. I love the colors and it has the symbol. So I can learn the symbols a little bit better, huh? Is it air? It's gotta be air symbol because the fool is air and the magician is air. Right there, awesome. So this one, oh, these are gorgeous. The magician, I like how it has this almost matrix, a matrix, um, it almost looks, you know, like the matrix kind of thing. Okay, anyway, manifesting reward and then the reversal, manifesting punishment. I love how it has all the shocker colors on there too. So now the high priestess, which would be water, and it says decisive intuition for that upright. Look at that third eye and her lips. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. And it has the B pillar and the J pillar. Yashua and um, what was the other one for B? I can't remember. Okay, so the Empress. Mm. It has the same symbol as the fool and the magician. The empress is an earth sign. Is that the same symbol? It is. Hmm, I don't know, maybe. Um, I don't know. Okay, so it does have like a zero for the fool, almost like a zero symbol, right? The magician has like the one symbol but it's, they're slightly different, which is super cool. This one has two of them, and this one has three of them. But see how it's the same symbol right there? Hmm, and it says nurturing creator, and I love how it has the hand on earth, and then the reversal, smothering creator. Ooh, I love these so much. The emperor is fire, uh, fire Aries energy. It has that same symbol. <sighs> Earth, wind, fire. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to have to look and see why those have the same symbols. Right? Okay, and it says the emperor, strong leader. Look how freaking cool. He's like this Viking. And then the reversal, ineffective ruler. Ooh, and it's on fire. All right, the Hierophant is a five traditional teachings. This is a Taurus energy. Oh, these are so awesome. Unconventional thinking is the reversal. I love them. Okay, so now the lovers, the number six of Gemini energy. It's an air sign, but it has that same symbol. But the high priestess didn't. Okay. Hmm. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm going to have to really learn about it, I guess. Um, it says euphoric choice. It's gorgeous. And then on the reversal, haunted choice. Ah, oh, I love them. The chariot is number seven. It's cancer energy. It's watery, preser preserving, pres persevering, willpower, willpower. Oh, that's cool. Vehicle, tested dedication is a reversal meaning. Strength, the number eight, Leo, energy, fiery. Ooh, this is freaking cool. He has a tattoo of a lion. Look at the colors. And um, it still has a slight canvas feel. Yep. Okay, so now the reversal exhausted endurance. Wow. These are so cool. The Hermit, which is a number nine. It is Virgo energy, soul searching. And the reversal says self-isolation. I like how she has that flashlight. Okay, Wheel of Fortune number 10, it has that symbol. Ooh, that is so cool. It says, Lucky Twist of Fate. And Unforeseen Challenge. Oh, I love it. Justice, number 11, Libra Energy, Air Sign, Fair Judgment. She's blindfolded as well. Unfair Bias is the reversal meaning. I love that. Okay, the hangman number 12. Wow, rewarded sacrifice. Oop, it has a different symbol. See the end symbol? And the reversal empty reward. Wow. All right, death number 13, Scorpio energy. It has that end symbol again. Necessary ending, look at that. Oh, that picture is so cool. What is that on her chest? It's like leaves. So the reversal, resisted ending. Dang. Temperance. Number 14, Sagittarius energy, fire. Ooh, it has a Venus symbol. Uh, she's balancing. She's got invisible wings, a wine glass in one hand, and a bottle in the other. I freaking love it. Patient balance. Wow, the reversal is reckless imbalance. Wow. All right, the devil. Dang. Number 15, uh, it's a Capricorn energy. Wow. This shows a lot and says a lot. It says destructive indulgence as an end symbol still. Capricorn's an earth sign. And the reversal meaning, releasing indulgence. Wow. Wow. Okay, the tower. Number 16, it's a fiery sign. Painful transition. Look at the city and the beam of lights. Needed transition. Reversal meaning. The star, my card, Aquarius energy, number 17, bright opportunity. This is so cool. Reversal meaning is dim opportunity. Wow. The moon, number 18, Pisces energy, shadowed illusion. This is beautiful. And... That's the first time I've never seen a moon on a Pisces or the moon. Ooh, it has a wolf. She has a wolf, two wolf tattoos though that are howling on the back of her shoulder. That's cool. Illusion revealed, reversal meaning. The sun, number 19, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire. Ooh, her lipstick, her hair, she's all gold. She has this like ball of energy in her hand unbridled joy has that symbol again has to be i don't know dampened joy is a reversal meaning oops judgment number 20 Ooh. okay this is cool it says earned reward she has a she has like three necklaces that combine and it says karma 
Oh, this is so freaking cool. She has two sides of herself. And the reversal, negative consequence. I am shaky. The world card, number 21, the last major arcana, triumph completion. This is super cool. Look at the sky. Oh. Reversal meaning hollow completion. Reminded me of hollow earth. Hmm. Okay, we're getting into the wands. So ace of wands, motivated beginning. Wow. Wow, look at that. I love that. Useless delay reversal meaning. All right, two of wands moving forward. Cool, different doorways. And the reversal holding back. Okay, let's skip a little bit. Queen of Wands. Ooh, there's like this panther behind her. That's cool. Confident ambition. This is Aries Lewis Sagittarius energy. These colors are just amazing. Re reversal, fearful yearning. All right, let's get to the cups. Ace of Cups. Glass of Wine. Emotional readiness. Look at her bracelet Aquarius Gemini Libra energy emotional introspection I don't know that number all right let's go to four of cups ooh arrogant wastefulness look at that wow reversal regretful comparison amazing Okay, Eight of Cups. Wow. Stagnant routine. Wow. Reversal. Feared change. Amazing. These are so cool. All right. Knight of Cups. This is awesome. He's on this motorcycle. Flowing attraction. He's got a water bottle, a bracelet. There's a... Uh, um, his like rear view mirror. Reversal, interrupted appeal. Wow. All right, let's do Queen of Cups. Intuitive compassion. So pretty. Reversal, unintuitive comparison. Jeez. All right, Ace of Swords. Ooh. This is cool. Newfound clarity. The light bulb in the colors. Reversal. Unfound focus. Wow. Six of swords. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Need a change. The dad is carrying his daughter on his shoulders with the swords and the shark is about to bite him. Wow. What's the reversal? Reluctant change. Okay. Seven of swords. Ooh, the mask. Ooh, her headband. This is cool. Seven of swords. The seven. The six. So now they've changed the symbols or the numbers. From the major arcana. Major arcanas, right? To like these symbols within the the word of the number huh see her headband with the swords that's so cool so this is hidden deceit and then the reversal self-deception wow all right page of swords young energy oh my goodness strategic solutioning and on one side he's like doing his math and everything and um the next side, or the other side, he's just painting. Wow. And then the reversal disconnected information. Wow. All right, Ace of Coins. Ooh, the money tree. And it has the same symbol as, I believe, the Wheel of Fortune. It's got the zodiac signs, 
the six, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point of star. Interesting. Ace of coins, new abundance. Reversal, missed opportunity. Wow. Four of coins. Ooh, this is trippy. Holding tight. This hand is holding tight to the coins in a like, cigar. Wow. Reversal, letting go. These have a specific smell to them. <laughs> Seven of coins, the golden egg in the nest. Fruits of labor. Wow. Reversal, diminished returns. Hmm. Page of coins. Oh, the hot air balloons. And that same symbol he's carrying in a suitcase. A young energy, recognized opportunity. And then disconnected goals for the reversal. The knight of coins. Patience to succeed. The dark horrors. He's, he's holding the symbol. And the reversal. Unbalanced actions. Wow. All right, let's do the king of coins. He's got that coin. Secure abundance. Wealthy man. Reversal, weakened security. Okay, so that is the light worker deck. So now let's open the star kissed deck. And they are the same colors, except there's different there's different stuff. So I'll show you. Here's the light worker back, right? And here's the star kissed back. Isn't that cool? And then the star kissed one actually comes with this card. It is awesome. So it comes with the fire signs, the symbols for them and the meaning for them. It comes with, um, okay, I think the yes and no's the symbols for, um, or the letters and symbols for the, like, seasons. And it says E for early, M for mid, L for late. And then there's a symbol for spring, a symbol for summer, a symbol for fall, a symbol for winter. Oh, duh. So that, that one symbol, right here is a Y for yes. Okay. And then the end symbol was for no. <laughs> there we go. We got it now. Oh, there we go. But the, uh, the light worker deck didn't come with this little card. Okay. So there's a wild card. Set your intuition. Interesting. Or intention. And then it has, there's like um, Uranus symbol, a Neptune symbol, a Pluto, a cardinal symbol, a F for fixed symbol, an M for mutable. It's just, this is a cool card. And then it has the symbols for the planets. And um, it says for the fire signs, there it's act. For the earth signs, it's secure. For the air signs, it's think. And for the water signs, it's feel. Just look at this. everything you need really that is just so cool how cool is that pretty dang handy all right so now um yep it's de definitely has some different images which i was a little worried about i'm like oh man all right here we go here's the fool it is the same symbol but it has the signs and the planets and it says fearless beginnings but on the bottom and it's a yes card so see the symbols on the bottom so there's the fool the magician is a yes card manifesting reward and it has the gemini a libra aquarius and um what would that planet be um, ooh. That has, that has to be Mercury. It's a little bit different color on this card, but it has to be Mercury. 
Wow, isn't that cool? Then we've got the High Priestess, Decisive Intuition, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and it definitely is the moon. Isn't that awesome? That's the same. Oh, you know what? So all the major arcanas are the same pictures. Okay, Nurturing Creator, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oof. Venus, that's got to be Venus. Yeah, Venus, of course. Motherly, caring, feminine. All right, the Emperor, Tor uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong leader. So yes, all of the major arcanas have the same pictures, except it has the signs that it rules. So this is a Hierophants, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow, all right, so let's go to Justice. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Pretty freaking awesome. The hangman would be a no, and it has Neptune, the symbol for Neptune. Yep. And it says Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and it shows the Mars, Jupiter, and the moon. Yep. This is awesome. I love it. All right. So now let's skip to the last one, the world. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Saturn. Isn't this awesome? I'm just, I love it. Wait a minute. It has some of the same pictures. <laughs> See, Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's the same one. Two of Wands is the same. Let's see, three ones. Let me see. All right, come on, let's figure this out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ace of wands, two wands, three wands. Oh, I think it all, it all has the same images. Dang. Well, you know what? I don't know, I might just give one of these away. Shoot. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, wait. <laughs> okay, this is this deck. This is that deck. Okay, so, yep. Five of Wands, same. But the Star Kissed has all the astrology. Dang it. I might just give one away. <sighs> Seven of Wands. Hmm. Yep. Page of Wands at Young Energy. But you can see there's the astrology stuff included. So pretty cool though. I love it. It's fun. Definitely. Page of Cups. Or I mean Ace of Cups. Cancer Best of Scorpio. That's a yes card as well, I guess. All right. So that's going to be it for me showing you. Um, we're going to use the Starkist deck. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do two. We'll, we'll do them both. We'll pull maybe one or two from the light worker and then we'll pull one or two from the Starkist deck. Okay. So let me light my sage. I am really low on my sage. I need to go get a bundle today. I do have some sage that I grew in my garden. So I might use that for a little while. I just love the smell of the white sage. All right. So there's that. And these are slick. Whew. Very slick. All right. Let's do the light worker deck first. Keep that out. I like this incense. This one does not want to stay lit. <coughs> All right, ready? Here we go. All right, divine source creator, protectors, ancestors of the love and light only. Let's shuffle a crap out of this first <laughs> before we pull. I seen a hair. Where'd it go? Ooh, it shuffles really, really good. Oh, it's smooth. It's light. It's pretty. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Divine Source Creator, Protectors, Ancestors of the Love and Only. Can we get a general energy message? Anything we may need to know? What are we feeling? Any message whatsoever that we can take from this video, this session, this reading, this unbox, this share. Anything like that from the light worker deck. Ooh, we got two right off the bat. Okay, we have a Knight of Swords and the Moon. We are going to have, I just seen that hair. Ah, there. <laughs> All right, um, we have the full pink moon on April 6th um, coming up pretty soon. So we have first the Knight of Swords. It has that end symbol for no. Um, the Knight of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Uh, it says unstoppable force. That's awesome. Um, he usually welds a true sword and he can be a bit uh, rash and reckless with his thoughts, words, and communication, but it says unstoppable force. And then we got the moon. This moon is going to be very powerful. This is Pisces energy and it says shadowed illusion, but it also can be your intuition, your feelings. Your intuition is unstoppable, especially during this time. We are going through a lot of vibrational shifts um, into higher frequencies and vibrations. And a lot are pretty well unaware of that. And so they're trapped in their ego-based mind and the fear and old paradigm stuff like that. So it's definitely like we are a very, we are unstoppable. And as long as we know that and believe that, like this Knight of Swords, Knights are the warriors and the battlers. We are unstoppable. And as long as we use our intuition and your your intention and your belief in the the light, you know, the the good, the the love, divine source creator, um, the, uh, this moon, um, the moon can bring illuminated secrets, lies, hidden things, unknown things. So during the times of the full moons, um, energy can be a bit heavy um, and uh, people can argue at times and have uh, miscommunications, right? So what else can we get from the Starkist deck? Let's shuffle it really good. Hmm. <laughs> Some of you may be wanting to say something or speak up, especially around this full moon coming up. I am going to do, look at that. There's the moon card. Um, yeah. Some of you may want to say something, speak up or something. Uh, some communication may come up to the surface that's been kind of buried or unknown, unseen for a while. All right, so divine source creator, protectors, ancestors of the love of my own. What else can you tell us about this Knight of Swords in the Moon? King of Coins. That's a yes card. Ooh, that's cool. All right. And Four of Swords. Really interesting. So the King of Coins is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, King of Coins, it says secure abundance. So look at the stars on the bottom. Ooh, Aquarius energy. So, this is working hard to where you've gotten. It is sitting really well with your finances, your material things, your earthly world, your earthly plane. It could be your job and what you do for a living. Sitting very secure, really, really well. And Four of Swords, that's another yes card. Wow. So... Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. It says earned rest. Wow. So four swords can be meditation, taking time out, taking a break, taking a vacation. So maybe some of you are going to be going on a vacation or being able to take time off work or something and go have some fun, uh, go on a retreat, go meditate, um, nap during this time. Um get time out in nature. So that's, that's super positive. That is awesome. So it seems like with this full moon energy, um, as long as you know, you 
are an unstoppable force and you use your intuition and trust your gut instinct, everything's fine. Everything will be fine. You got to believe in yourself. Okay. You have to believe, right? Um, and be careful with your words and how you speak about yourself, how you speak about your home, your vehicle, your job, anything you own, not saying H-A-T-E, this thing, oh, I hate this thing, you know, or and it frustrates you. Just be careful around that. Um, so speak um, true and authentic from your heart and your gut instinct and um, be speak really positive the best you can. Um, it is, it can be a challenge. I know it can be a challenge because abundance is there for all of us. It's there for all of us. We're going to be able to rest and sit very well. So that's pretty cool. And this one, it has that L symbol for late, late. And then it has an M. Oh, M for mutable end. So late mutable end. It has a Virgo, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn. Huh. L late. We are in late March. Let's see. We are in Aries season now. Yeah, we. I believe we're in Aries season now. Aries is a boss, a leader, sits very well. Okay, and then this one has M for shoot, and has these leaves. There's two different M symbols, so this is going to be mid. And then a C for, sorry, a cardinal beginning. Mid cardinal beginning. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. <laughs> Mid spring. Ooh, you know what? Mid spring. We just started spring a little bit ago, but I think like by mid spring, we're going to be sitting like very comfortable. Is that what that is? Are we going to be sitting super comfortable in our earthly world, finances, material things in mid spring? Is that what's, is that what's up? Is that what that means? The hermit. Wow. And it says soul searching. So the hermit is usually Virgo energy. It's a number nine. The ninth house is spirituality, faith, higher learning, higher perspectives, higher education. Ooh, and this can be taking time out for meditation pulling back, but it also can be an old soul, inner wisdom, inner, inner knowledge, hidden knowledge, um, lighting the path ahead, a wisdom teacher. Okay. Hmm. It's like, we're going to be doing a lot of soul searching, inner reflection, which reminds me of the moon. And if we do meditate, and kind of get some time away we usually do inner reflection or just think about how our lives are going and you know your goals your accomplishments and achievements all right well <laughs> um that's that um i think i am gonna gift away one of these decks so um take what resonates though leave whatever may not resonate I will be back with a reading um, for this full pink moon coming up um, April 5th or 6th, depending on your location. I believe it's the 6th for me, the full pink moon. So I will be back to do that. And I hope you enjoyed. Well, I wish you enjoyed. No more hopes. <laughs> and um, again, all for entertainment purposes only. Um, Take what resonates, leave whatever I mean not. If you want me to cover a topic, just let me know in the comments below. If you want a free reading, get a hold of me, <laughs> okay? All right, always unconditional love and light. So be it, always have an open mind. And I'll see you guys in the next reading or video. Bye, thanks.